What's going on YouTube? Hey, I wanted to show you guys today I am doing a little bit of cooking on my uh, on my new cast iron skillet here. Got some uh, potatoes O'Brien going on here and a little bit of scrambled eggs. And yeah, I've uh, I've made the conversion to a cast iron skillet. And I'm really really happy so far. I'm trying to get away from a lot of the uh, you know the Teflon um, material, you know, that's, that's being made in uh, in a lot of the new pots now, you know, and I guess for some of those health reasons or whatever that they say that, that you can, it's cancerous or I, I don't know, it's just something along those degrees. But more importantly, not so much those things. Um, for me, it's more of the performance of the of the pot itself and cooking and you know getting a hot pot. Um, and that's the whole key to cooking is to getting a pot that you know it stays hot and it'll reach a certain uh, degrees and it will continue it will maintain that temperature you know and that's one of the one of the uh, benefits of, of cooking with cast iron is it'll maintain that hot temperature uh, you know like right now I've got my burner on setting number three you know, and that's uh, that's what's putting out. I don't have my I don't have a temp temp temp, temp, temp gauge on here, but that's putting out quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of temperature there. You know, for this pot, and it's going to maintain that temperature. So with your, you know, little chintzy uh, thin, you know, Teflon wear Teflon type wear pots, you just can't get that level of um, you know of heat for cooking. So I'm a big uh, believer in using uh, a thick, you know, heavy duty pot for. Uh, you know, for all of your all of your cooking. So so yeah, this is looking uh, pretty good here. Going to put a little bit of Johnny seasoning on it here, and voila! I've got uh, I've got a good hearty breakfast meal here that'll last me for a couple of hours. So yeah, and it's uh, I've also got this little handy dandy uh, little rubber thing on here, so uh, handle a guard so you don't burn your hand uh, touching this. So there you, there you got it. This is this one is a lodge. They're really cheap. They're like uh, you know fifteen sixteen dollars on Amazon. And uh, so yeah, hook yourself up with uh, some cast iron. And I know that there are uh, lots of videos on YouTube explaining how to clean cast iron cookware. But I just figured I would just go ahead and show you guys how West Coast Roller does it. So this is the pot that I was just using when I was cooking the scrambled eggs and the potatoes O'Brien in and I just cleaned it up. Unfortunately I didn't shoot that footage while I was cleaning it to kind of show you a little bit on that. But basically I'll just kind of show you what I do. And um, <clears throat> so basically this pot comes from the factory pre-seasoned and most of the when you buy them new today they do. So that's a couple of steps that you don't have to do when you get them. So the key to maintaining and cleaning this cookware is to keep uh, lots of oil, lots of vegetable oil. You could use olive oil on them. And and you want to keep that surface uh, very oiled. And as far as uh, cleaning it goes, it's basically a matter of I take, I use one of these scrapers. If you haven't seen one of these before, this is called a Nor Pro scraper awesome little little scraper tool uh, this will take care of and scrape and clean up uh, any of those uh, the food messes that I can't get with a uh, conventional sponge and scraper so this works awesome I just scrape all of the food off and then I take a, um, a paper towel and I just wipe up the mess throw it away apply more oil and um, then I usually take the paper towel and then I'll spread the oil around in that pan. It's really key is to keep uh, keep a plenty of oil in this. You want to keep it seasoned. As far as in the other cleaning goes, you do not want to use any chemicals, any dishwashing liquid or anything on these cast iron cookware. cookware. You will ruin the, uh, the, the the seasoning if you do that. So you want to keep them all natural. You want to use just a, just a, you know an oil and uh, water. And that's another thing too. If you've got some food soils in here that's built up after cooking, you could just put some water in here and let the water uh, break down uh, the the uh, break down the food, and then go ahead and then start the cleaning process uh, afterwards. So just keep it oil and water, and uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much all you have to do. And then just make sure that you've got uh, oil enough oil on there, and you keep it you keep it seasoned for the next use. So uh, you know for RVing, I really really like this cast iron cookware. It's one less thing that I have to clean. I have to wash. Um, you know, very, very simple, very, very simple things. It, it can, you know, basically stay and maintain here on the, uh, 
on the stove top. They're very heavy. They don't move around or slide around a lot in transit. That's another nice thing. And I can also use it for outdoor cooking on a campfire. So it just has a lot, a lot, a lot of purposes. They also sell <coughs> lids for these. Uh, that, I'm, that I'm going to pick up for this one uh, for such as like cooking bacon and so forth, you know, and the lids that, that they have, they're good, they're up they're good for up to like 400 degrees so you could put it in the oven with the lid on and also do some cooking that way. So <clears throat> great, great tool, industrial, heavy, heavy duty, and it just does an awesome job cooking, you know, browning meats and everything. It, it does an excellent job there. So I highly recommend one of these. If you have some other some other tips, some other suggestions on how to clean and maintain your cast iron cookware, please comment below and let us all know.